Or Bloodborne than we are to Elden Ring or Armor Core because DS and Bloodborne are actually owned by Sony. Either way, let's go. What do we got? What do we have on deck? What's up first? I mean, they're probably starting with like a look at all of our games. That's what they usually do. Cinematic trailer, not actual gameplay. Eh. Eh. It's hard to really get my hype going when I see that disclaimer. Take their dot money. What is this? You want to know about us? Seems like everyone does these days. This has like Watchdogs it's vibes. Simple. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. And it's only getting worse. So, we decided to do something about it. Let's go. It's a heist based game. Do me reaching designer socks too. I got the swag too. It's a high cool. I'm something like you. My drink and drive too were nine to fives when I was in high school. These shoes here don't come out till June. This my pick, I'll crop you. Maybe to the game, set my ID. Got a window seat like Eric Badu. So it's heist PvP. Be honest, the uh, Sony's version of Payday, kind of a kind of a weak start. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Ryan, President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm delighted to be here today to introduce what's next for PlayStation Five. We're now into the third year of the life cycle of PS5, and we've been fortunate to have so many fan favorite titles released on the platform. What's even more exciting is that developers are just scratching the surface of what's possible with the gaming experiences that they create. Today, you'll get a glimpse into some of the most breathtaking and imaginative content that will be coming to PS5 and PlayStation VR 2. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Enjoy the show. Yeah, I'd guess an hour to an hour and a half. Capitalism bad game from capitalists. <laughs> Super Earth. Our home. 
Super Earth Ministry Our of Truth. Of life. But freedom doesn't come free. No. Sweet liberty. Isn't no. this like Starship Troopers? <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. And you could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision no, of your life. No, it's not Fallout. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. A new Helldivers game. These are usually, the last one of these was like, top down. Experience true freedom. Requesting air support. The freedom to travel the galaxy. And secure the resources we need to build a better tomorrow. The freedom to encounter fascinating Yeah, I don't know why people were saying Fallout. <laughs> they probably saw the blue and they were like, it's a vault suit. Like, no. Technology. Nothing like Fallout. The freedom to make new friends and represent the best of what Super Earth has to offer. Become part I mean, of it might be it might be fun force. playing with the boys. And work together I know we haven't done a lot of co-op stream with the boys lately. Liberty. But I can and see this as like a Friday night with the gang type of game. Become part of something larger than yourself. <laughs> Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a hell diver. Becoming a hell diver may result in decapitation or morbid vacation. Not all hell divers survive. I do have closed captions on. Should we turn it off? I mean, they're not really accurate. We can just turn them off. Unless people want them on. Sir? Oh, okay. this one. I'm actually curious to see how this ends up being. Because so far, EA Originals has been on a roll. Maybe engage a little. Like, first person magic is something we've seen that attempted a lot. Like, if this, if this has, like, the pacing of Doom, but with me, like, swapping between magic spells, it's gonna be good. Blades have established a stronghold, and Kirkin seems to think you might not get me killed. Nah, this is a Mor Mortals of Avium. From what I understand, it's just, it's literally just gonna be like a single player FPS, but with magic instead of guns. The last immortal. No games as a service, none of that, just straight up first person game. We haven't given them enough yet. Killed my family. Don't turn your back on me. I'd be interested on the performance. I think that's gonna be the. I mean, just seeing all the spells and all the particle effects, like they're they're gonna need they're gonna need some real good optimization here. Cause this, this has potential to be like badass. I mean, the last like really good shooter we've had was Doom. So this has potential to be good. If it's polished. Anthem was not trash. Anthem was fucking great. And also this is EA Originals. Stop confusing EA and EA Originals. EA Originals is a publishing studio for standalone games. And they recently won game of the year. Where it takes two.
What is this? It looks like Ghost Runner. Is this Ghost Runner? I think this is Ghost Runner with new powers. It is Ghost Runner. That goes to show you, never doubt my level of variety. I know everything. Ghost Runner was pretty fun. Looking like they're making it more intense, adding some new goodies, new spells. That could be fun. What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. Rise of the Ronin, maybe? I mean, the, the label wasn't... Just run away. I mean, or it's something that's trying to compete with Rise of the Ronin. It won't make any difference at the end of the day. I didn't recognize the studio at the start. You know better than anyone else. That no one could escape. Everyone wears a mask. You too. This is a real face. He let you live. What secret did you sell him? Or what is this? What, what is this? Getting some Sekiro vibes? Mechanical arm? I don't think this is Rise of the Ronin, because there's there's all sorts of craziness going on. I think Rise of the Ronin is supposed to be a lot more like more more rooted in realism. I don't know what this is, but this is wild. Okay. Nah, it's like Sekiro and Ninja Gaiden had a baby together. Yes. Let's kill him with time. Phantom Blade. What's your plan? Phantom Blade Zero? Sixty six days to live. Get my heart back. If it actually plays as good as it looks, the game is going to be wild. Sand surfing.
looks interesting. I'm not usually too big on, on exploratory style games like that, but it did look very pretty. Oh, this is, is that portal game? A new world awaits you. Full of dangers and mysteries. I think this is that, that uh, and wonders. open world survival Things game with like all the portals. Could never have imagined. But I don't remember it having robots. Think of the world we could build if we believed in ourselves. If we truly believed in what it means to be sentient. To face the universe without fear or delusion. Imagine vast cities full of life and light. Great towers rising towards the sky. So much would be possible. If we believed. If we still have faith. The Talos Principle 2. I didn't even know there was a Talos Principle 1, to be honest. So. I didn't get Stargate. I got more like mist vibes. Talos Principle. The Talos Principle. It shit has a 10 out of 10 rating on Steam. That's wild. Narrative based puzzle game played with a first or third person perspective. Yeah, so it's like, it's like Mist. I mean, those usually, I, I don't usually play those games. I did back in the day, like Mist and. What was it? Was it Sphere or something? Portal-like? Huh. Raise the baby mystical wolf. Dead dog goes the game. Y'all are messed up! <laughs> Never gonna play that! Y'all are fucked up! That's... You don't need to be like that, man! <laughs> Why you gotta do the game like that? Cat Quest. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What is this? It said Square Annex, but this... This looks like a... It's like a 3v3 battle arena thing. 
with anime girls. Okay, it's a showtime! Champagne? What is this, dude? It's like Square Enix Splatoon? They're shooting like bubble guns. Yeah, this is, li this is literally Square Enix Splatoon. It is. It's Square Enix Splatoon. The bubble guns. For the foam star party. Oh god. Is it called foam stars? Oh god. <laughs> the plucky squire. Welcome to the land of Mojo. Here we find Jot, the plucky squire, and his friends, Violet, Thrash, I'm be and honest. Pip. Our heroes protect the land from the villainous sorcerer, Hungrum. I'm, I'm not usually, this, this is it. But so far, this has been kind of a mid showcase. Beyond. There, Jot finds a whole new world to explore with dangers. Like, I'm usually real open-minded, and, and, and this showcase has been... Our really heroes must weak battle so far. and grump across the two realms if they are to save their beloved land from his diabolical desires. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I, when I think Sony, I think, like, Off the page epics. And into I, I think adventure. exclusives that are, like, the HBO of games. And instead, I'm getting games that, like, my kid will probably play when he's, like, six. I mean, we saw Mortals of Abium. We saw Phantom Blade. But, like... There's been a lot of rated E for everyone stuff so far. This is something, something Minecrafty. I got a little bit of a hot take. Um, if this was an Xbox showcase, and we were seeing all sorts of stuff that was coming to Game Pass as free to play, all right, I get it, cool. There's gonna be a, a ton of stuff that my I'll have my kids check out. But this is Sony. These are a lot of these are PS5 exclusives. These are PS5 exclusives. What is? Another not actual gameplay.
We need to play as ants. I wouldn't say it looks trash, but like only two of these games look like something I'm interested in. Bro, come on, that anaconda ain't going for a parrot. What is that? What is what is this? You think the big guns will come later in the showcase? I mean, this showcase is supposed to be an hour. We're uh. 30 minutes in. Oh, it's Metal Gear. It's the Metal Gear remake. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. What a thrill. With darkness and silence. Metal Gear Solid Triangle? Oh, it's Snake Eater. Snake Eater was three. Why do they got a little triangle there? I'm searching and I'll melt into you. Is it a full remake of Snake Eater? This footage is captured on PC. Our people have returned to Ashaba, our homeland. This is interesting. kind of cool I, I need to know more than just the exploration is this like a combat game or or what but oh we got some final fantasy these people live with a knife to their throat you have to believe us we'd help you if we could damn but you're helping us already we never asked to be saved did you think we'd thank you Never forgive us! We're all marked now! Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer! I can't fucking wait for this game, man. So sharp. You better hope so. Especially after getting the chance to play it, dude. So good. You need to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying. Some Bahamut powers. What the hell are we talking? If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. Are you with me? You will pay for what you've done! Titan! Why aren't you dead? You are the bottom branded! Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice! They don't believe in me. They believe in the powers of dominant. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this. Can you? Ever led astray by your blind resolve. And thus is the light of hope severed. 
We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Come to me, Ifrit! Who are we? What are the dominance? We are but mighty acts of God. Enough of this! I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? We... we shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! The darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. <laughs> I can't fucking wait! I can't wait, dude! Oh, this game can't come soon enough, man. I made a promise to my friends. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. Your efforts will avail us naught. We fight. We survive. We endure. We don't need a reason. Oh, just like a month out, man. You don't need to play the previous games. You can jump straight into 16. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, 16 is going to be amazing. I'm trapped here. In this nightmare. Oh, what is this? This looks, this looks graphic. Oh, I don't like this. Every word is a step forward. No, no, no. This looks like torture porn in the game. And the is this the new Alan Wake? I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's yeah. right up your alley. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. So you knew our victim? Only the rumors. He was chasing a writer. Someone knew they were here. Was playing a game with them. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. This looks really good. There's something I'm forgetting. Something important. Something's not right. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? Ooh, and it's October. Let's go. We got our spooky game for October on deck. That looks way scarier than the last one. Oh, is this the new Mirage? Welcome, hidden one. I love her. She's like, she's got to be my favorite voice actress. Every time I hear her voice, I'm just like, mm. You have died and been reborn. I want to see gameplay because I heard this is going to be more like the old school the Alan the or Assassin's Creed as opposed to like the newer stuff. The suits me. The fear. So far, this just looks like Quiet. the last two Assassin's Creed games it. that I played. And let's go.
I mean, the combat does look pretty slick, but I'm just seeing a lot of like what I've already come to expect in Assassin's Creed. The stage is yours, Basim. We will be watching. Also October. I mean, I don't know. I'm not like crazy excited for it, but I'll play it. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, that ain't, ain't, ain't for me. Uh, that's gonna be a no for me. Psy Games, Psy Games. Why do I recognize that name? Psy Games. Oh, they do, uh... Is it Grand Blue they do? Yeah, they do, they do Grand Blue. Cool looking dragon. This is giving, like, Tails vibes, but even more anime somehow. It's a, I will say, it's a very, like, anime Japanese thing to, like, call out your special abilities as you do them. Like, you ain't never see that shit in, uh, in, like, Western games, you know? Imagine Kratos being like, axe throw! <laughs> By the way, we're gonna actually be, uh, we're gonna be playing this at launch a little bit. Not a ton, because y'all know I'm pretty dookie at fighting games, but... When you said you were seeking strength, despite having no real need to do so. Honestly, I thought you were a complete idiot. I had a lot of fun with the demo, so we're gonna do some more of this at launch. Masters, you were set up. I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. It's probably worth looking into this nice shawl business. That power seemed to be the Satsui no Hado. Was it simply a trick of the senses? You just want to see Waifu? To set the world under his heel I mean, just because I want Cassie to sit on my face, that's irrelevant to the conversation here. When you go looking for strength, I just had fun with it. It's so. not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending.
with another indie-ish type thing. This game looks like an LSD trip so far. Is it Metroidvania? I see a lot of. Oh, we got a weapon. Show me some combat. Well, yeah, there's, there's, like, I'm actually struggling to figure out what's happening in the background and the foreground just from the coloration of this. Imagine trying to play this game as like someone with a color blindness. Shit's just gonna be blending all over the place. You're not gonna be able to tell out anything that's happening. Nah, man, this makes Rick and Morty look mild. Very, very trippy looking. That waifu game? This looks like Genshin with mechs. probably gonna flop and not because of the trailer but because they already announced that Japan gets it this summer while the US is gonna have to wait all the way to 2024 which it's like I'm not playing that now Tower of Fantasy they dropped that title fast they were like all right stick the title in there and end the preview holy shit is this Dragon's Dogma 2 dude Oh my god. You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Of course. That begs the question. If he's a mere mama, then where might our true Arisa? Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisa. Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Magic still looking lit. Town looks way more alive than the last game. Oh, our big red boy's back. The graphics are throwing me off because, like, the cutscenes look wild, and then the combat looks more dated. Can I have a date, please? Please, Capcom. Welcome Capcom, give me a date! Week of career fulfillment and How are they gonna drop that and nothing else? No no date, no we nothing. Know how challenging it can be to find a place where you feel that you truly belong. 
and to find a job that treats you mostly with respect and only infrequently with contempt. For that reason, we are excited to inform you Whack. that you did an adequate enough job the first time around to have you back. Also, there were no other applicants. So strap yourself in and get motivated to an appropriate degree. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. Man. How you gonna get me hyped to shit? Dragon's Dogma 2. No date, no nothing. And then you go to fucking Five Nights at Freddy's. I want to go back and watch that last trailer again. <laughs> I need to do some PSVR. I, PlayStation literally sent me a PSVR too. Like, like I have a full PSVR two right here, and I still haven't even had a chance to take it out of the fucking box yet. How far could he have gone? Literally haven't even gotten to open the box yet. Cause, kids, I have no time. Dude, I liked Resident Evil 4 a lot, I'm gonna be honest. Playing in VR would be rough. Like, spinning around to roundhouse kick people and shit. Am I too lazy to show? I mean, it's- I'm sure it's good, I just haven't had a chance to do anything with it. Part of it is like, anytime I'm doing content, I'm streaming or I'm making episodes. And to be honest, if you've ever tried watching a VR stream, it's usually, it's usually rough. Cause one, I can't interact with chat at all. Y'all just see me wiggling around in the background and getting sweaty and shit. And then a lot of people get motion sick watching it. So I'd like to actually just have like a day where I just- oh, Forgive me father. Play a I bunch see. of shit on it myself and then like, talk about it and do review. A lot. You see, everything started two years ago when I met Fred. And ever since then, it's like I see his face everywhere. And lately, I've started to develop some destructive tendencies. Whoosh! <laughs> what do we have here? Well, what's a bit of armless fun? Hello, uglies. <laughs> okay, this does look pretty funny. <laughs> and since I met my new best friend, I guess I get a little overprotective. <laughs> okay, very overprotective. Now, I'd love to sit here all day and chew your ear off. I'll be right out, boy. <laughs> but as you know, Time waits for no man. Catch you later, Fred. <laughs> Who's a good boy? That, that actually looks Ooh, pretty fun. Looks like today's gonna be a scorcher. That looks like it would be fun to just just do dumb shit in. Or is this split screen? Gunborn Iraq War. <laughs> Crossfire Sierra Squad.
I want to see. I would like to see Wolverine gameplay. It's Colonel Peter Conrad. He was one of ours before he went rogue. We intercepted comms chatter referring to neurosynaptic tech, but they've gone dark. I don't have to remind you what's at stake here. We need that intel by any means necessary. It's connected to a mind synchronization device. This is cutting edge interrogation tech. We're out of time and out of options. We've got to go in. Go into his mind? What? Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Impressive. I'll admit, you didn't make a good team on the battlefield. But don't forget it. This is my mind. My war. <laughs> my rules. I need you to focus. The clock is ticking. You have to adapt. So it's like super hot, but VR or something? Yeah, I, I kind of see a Ghostwire vibe, how you're supposed to like manipulate stuff and... Uh... Either I have to delete the stream or I have to like mute all these sections. I'm seeing a whole lot of not actual gameplay stuff. These silkworms printing a person? Bungie. Is this what Bungie's been doing besides Destiny? I mean, I don't know anything about what I'm seeing right now. Especially knowing this is an actual gameplay. Is it like people are just dying? It's like people are like printed almost. I have no clue. I think Bungie does good work. I just I have no I have no idea what I even saw right there. Yeah, sci-fi fever dream describes it best. I mean, I mean, even if we at least saw something, but like, not only was that no gameplay, I just I have no idea what I even just watched. More not actual gameplay. Dude, I'm so sick of not actual gameplay. I don't even know where to begin. You've missed so much. We've slain gods. Vanquished nightmares. Fought alongside those who we once fought against. I wish you could have been there. Miami? 
too, kiddo. But hey, I'm here now. Wherever the hell here is. Final shape. I don't follow Destiny. Hopefully Destiny people are excited. PlayStation Studio, Firewalk. What do we got? Another not actual gameplay. Space game, okay? You know, some of these, these teasers are just, they're giving us nothing. Like, I, I don't even know what the game is about. All I know is that there's a space game coming out. The best Gran Turismo players in the world will compete for a place in racing history. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Please Before tell me. Before we get into our final game, okay, okay. I have a few announcements to share. At PlayStation, innovation is our passion. And that applies to not just what games you play, but how you play them. Later we got this one year, more. we will launch a dedicated device that enables you to stream any game from your PS5 console using remote play over Wi-Fi. Internally mm -hmm. known as Project Q, it has an eight inch HD screen and all of the buttons and features of the DualSense wireless controller. <laughs> we look forward to sharing more information. I like how it's just like I'm also pleased your to PlayStation our controllers with a tablet earbuds. slapped in the fucking Through middle next of them. Next generation audio immersion to PS5 and PC. They simultaneously connect to smartphones via Bluetooth. New wireless technology will deliver. I like that little charging dock, latency, though, giving you outstanding sound quality while you're playing. Look out for more details soon. We hope today's showcase demonstrates our That thing looks like it would be so fucking awkward to take with you to travel. That surprise and delight our players. I want to thank all of you for your unwavering support for PlayStation. So what do we what do we got coming up? Is it Spider-Man? Is it Wolverine? It's probably Wolverine. This doesn't look, this definitely isn't Bloodborne. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like Sabretooth and he's tracking him or something. Sabretooth pre-transformation or Craven, yeah, it could be Craven. A fate you will not share. I've been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. Pathetic. I ask. 
asked for an equal. And this is what you find. Sir, perhaps a new hunting ground. Spider-Man 2. Light the fires. The great hunt begins. I mean, I don't know. I'm excited for Spider-Man, but them going out on like a Craven reveal seems kind of weak, to be honest. No, this is just—I think this is just a trailer for Spider-Man too. The beast could be anywhere. Damn. Okay, they did not hold back on the symbiote powers. to the Harlem fish market. Blizzard. I'm on it. Sounds like Craven's checking off his. We don't have much time. Move. Uh, guess we'll chat later. Woo! That link suit looks the so good. Blizzard's loose at the fish market. Must be sushi night. You still got the hunter drone you hijacked? Didn't really tough hiding it from my mom, but yeah, I'll boot up and see you there. They got here fast. Can't let him find Connors, or he's done for. Oh, spread out. Sneaky. Don't engage alone. Look at those fish. It's been feeding. We never saw it coming. Double takedown. Spider Man games are just cool looking button mashers. I'm still gonna play it. So, how's the hunt going? Watch out for his little power! Judging by the three tons of dead fish! Not well! Where are you, Connors? Garage might lead to him. Yeah, Morales definitely got some upgrades. And Symbiote on Spidey looks good. We haven't even seen- I mean, Venom's gonna be nuts. He's out of control. Now, how'd you find me? Got a 
the fish. Drones picking up Lizard's trail. He's still eating. We can catch him off guard. Genki, get behind me. I mean, we kind of went into this knowing there wasn't going to be a Bloodborne. Just to be honest. It's just his skin. Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? Hungrier, too. The building's swarming with hunters. Any sign of Connors? Uh, yeah. Genki's tracking him. Hey, Mr. Parker. Mr. Spider-Man, I mean. Uh, but the date is incomplete. Okay, I think I got a lock. Genki, wait, be chill. That wasn't me. Me neither. I don't even have a stomach, so... Let's go! Those are looking big. Go, go, go! Take him alive! We can't lose Connors. Harry's dying, and he's the only one who can help. We won't. You take the drones, I got the jet skis. You want to borrow this? This is really, really exciting. Keep it tight, man. Watch out for those drones. Don't worry. They think I'm a friendly. This is looking good. I like how we just went straight from Morales to to, no, no, no. to Spidey. Spider Big boy. Miles! Grab on, let's go! Well, I mean, that's the whole thing with the, the symbiote, is it? The symbiote increases your aggression, so, you know, even though Spider Man wouldn't kill, Black Suit symbiote is, is way more aggressive, and you know, killing wouldn't be out of the question. Yeah, I was gonna say it is it is very killer crockish, but he said Connor, so we know it's lizard. But they they definitely Lizard is is pretty wild looking now.
Jesus, dude. This is looking super cinematic. Why, this shit's like... Damn. He got away from us. It's good, Pete. I saved the tracker. Let's go, man, before he gets too far. No. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Symbiote Spidey. Uh, I have teeth. It's not normally like that. Darkness. Right? No. He's never like that. Uh, no word on Wolverine, but Spider-Man 2 is looking good. I wish we had a more concrete date than fall. We knew it was fall. But when? Phantom Blade looks real good. Uh, Spider-Man 2 obviously looks good. Well, I, I would. I, I, don't, I ain't putting. Blah, a, blah, blah. I ain't putting a score on a showcase, but there were a couple games that I'm looking forward to. I'd say in, in general, though, it was definitely on the weaker side. Don't understand why no Bloodborne. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Uh, anyway, we are going to wrap things on up here with the showcase being all done. Uh, I need to go pick up my kid from school. So, thanks for tuning on in. Got a, I'm going to go back and watch that, that Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer again because that looked good. I really want to know more about that. But either way, I will catch y'all tomorrow. Probably, um, I don't know, either Zelda or V Rising tomorrow. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Either way, y'all have a good night. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you.